So the end of October 2017, just in the RTA yard here with Roy Booty. Roy Booty. How long have you been driving for? Oh, I've been driving these for about 16 years now. 16 years with Derek Murray? Yeah, with Derek Murray, yeah. And how long does your association with Volvo trucks go back? Oh, probably 16 years here, about 20 on the farm, so probably about 36 years. So, so you would have started off driving... Oh, a, an old uh, an F10, or oh, an F86 before that, but yeah. then the F10 and then... Yeah, and then jumped into these. What, what one did you have before this one? I had uh, the old, um, all the F16, the old um, Peter Dome, 380 horse. Yeah. Uh, went on to the 420 horsepower one, then the 526 wheeler. Did uh, 18 months in the uh, bowl and two dogs, that was the 520. Kicked up to the 610. Had a 610 after that, then the 580, and now um, this one. Is okay. And what do you think of this one? Ah, uh, absolutely great. Yeah. What is it? have to honestly say I'd be a Volvo fan. Yeah. I have driven the uh, Kenworth 108, but no, not a match. And how would you say the, the Kenworth would compare to, to, to the Volvo? No, when you're... So, you know, I mean, it pulls pretty well, but no, comfort-wise and uh, noise-wise, so it's just not a patch just, on these. Yeah. You get going along, you times your 65 tonne payload and you're getting along at 100 k now and you can't hear one ounce of noise outside. Okay, yeah. So this truck, you, you can gross 92? 99 and go to level 3 now. 99? 99 times level 3. Okay, that's with but two... With mostly at level 1, 92 and a half. 92 and a half, okay. Okay, and you 600... You level 3 today. Okay. 65 ton payload. 65 ton payload, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's still a lot of weight. Still a lot of weight. Still a lot of weight, yeah. Well. Yeah, and on fuel, what sort of fuel economy are you getting with them? Yeah, I'm not sure what this one's getting now. Yeah. One and a half, one seven. Okay, yeah. pretty, pretty she'll good. She'll go home, she'll go home empty about two and a half more. Okay, and are there any more new trucks on the way at the moment, or you don't uh, know? Not this year, but every year we'll get a couple of new ones every year. Couple of new ones, so but this is, this, year with the this is one of the first FH16s he bought. first one of this shape. Okay. Yeah, I'd say you notice a big difference when you stepped up from the... Uh, you stepped up from a 610, was it, the older model? Yeah, uh, no, the 580. Oh, you had a 580. 580. Yeah, that was the first of the autos that I had. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, so you had a 610 manual. It's still, it's still running pretty well. The 2580s, everything else is covered now. Okay, okay. I'd say, and you'd, you'd, you wouldn't go back to a manual? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nobody would. That makes the change. I tell you, it catches you out. I have jumped yeah. in one before oh, we got rid of it. Yeah. And yeah, you can come to a certain stop when you can get put the crutch in. Yeah. You get a bit of a jerk when you're stopping a lot. Yeah, yeah. Feel a bit of a but they're, they are pretty good. And now they have the uh, the dual clutch with these ones as well. The new, I'm not sure if it's in Australia nah, yet, but back home, is. back home they have the dual clutch coming in. I think that's going to be the next step forward. Yeah. yeah. No, I wouldn't get that. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you want to jump up and just give us a look at inside your cabin and what you think? And yeah. No, you can drive that all day, and you can hop out of it. And even if you are 67, you can still run around it. You're, six, you're a fresh man for 67. Yeah, well, you know, age is only a number, isn't it? It's only a number, that's what I'm always it's saying. Only a number. That's what I'm always saying, Some yeah. Some days you might feel 80, but other days you're only 40, <laughs> no, 20, exactly. 21, and then you get it's the trouble. It's a mindset. So you have your fridge underneath here? Yeah, fridge under the, under the bunk. Yeah, it's a, it's just pretty. It's a, They've got a lot bigger compared to what they used yeah, to be. Yeah, that's quite good. Yeah. I notice you keep your, uh, keep your cab curtains pull to oh, oh i don't know just, just, just have it. Yeah. a lot of people don't i always keep them across. yeah yes yeah. yeah. kind of thing i used to do uh, yeah, as well good. but you've got plenty of storage yeah There's three cupboards up the top here yeah two, a big big one and one each side up the top of the back there yeah and uh, under the seat i know there's a big uh, advantage here you don't have a back home we have a digital tachograph up here no you don't have anything you just keep you don't have in western australia no log books nothing yeah, like that yeah 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 you got all your books all your books written there your logs and yeah that's just company yeah company import yeah well, self-governance you've got to have it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's all uh accreditation yeah, stuff accreditation yeah but it still drives still, you around the twist yeah More paperwork than well i tell you what it's still not as bad as um the over regulation that there is back in europe anyway yeah, that's for sure yeah. yeah it's not too bad yeah i've oh, put the big cameras in them now too so yeah. it's got the he can look up on his computer and he knows where I am. Yeah, so you, any, you have a camera facing forward, any other cameras? No, that's You don't have any one, looking, no. at, looking at the driver? No. Oh, well. Oh, would you want to look at that ugly face? <laughs> I don't know. Well, there's, there's, no, 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 no. We've only got the, yeah. more or less the GPS, just for tracking where they are. Yes. It'll ping if you go too fast or yeah. too long at, at, a, at a place loading up or unloading. Yeah. It'll send in, you know, too long a wait. 